because this is not something we talk about a lot, but I know, I, you know, I've, I've have anecdotally, I've, I've interviewed uh, landowners whose health uh, they think feel has been affected by leaking wells on their property. So there are, uh, the way that I, I typically put it is that there are associated health impacts uh, from methane emissions from both, both active production and from non-producing wells. Uh, and those need to be well studied and well characterized. Um, but, but there is an association. And so the main issue is that uh, there are co-pollutants that come along for the ride with methane. So methane itself, uh, you know, unless you're uh, inhaling, unless you're in an enclosed space and you've got concerns around as asphy asphyxiation or explosions, um, inhaling sort of low concentrations of methane is not going to affect you. But the co-pollutants that are associated with methane can be very, very noxious and harmful. So th those include things like uh, hydrogen sulfide or sour gas. That's the thing that will give the kind of the sour uh, rotten egg smell. And if you're smelling that, you need to immediately vacate the area because it can be fatal at high concentrations.